Welcome boys and girls to another top 10 games review for the Quest 2. This time we are diving into the fast lane to discover the best racing games currently available for your headsets. And if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. In at number 10 is Racemaker. You may have already come across this if you are a TikTok user, but if not, Racemaker aims to be a Mario Kart-esque experience with the added bonus of being able to construct the tracks yourself. In fact, the main reason to play this game is the fun of being able to make the racetrack however you like it. Add loads of long straights, have a ton of corners. But as I said earlier, this game is similar to Mario Kart in that not only are you driving a go-kart, you also have weapons to use in game to thwart your enemies. Racemaker only recently got released on App Lab and is by no means a finished product, mainly noting there is no multiplayer as of yet, but the game is completely free, so give it a go, you've got nothing to lose. Coming up on the ninth spot then is Marine vs Cup. Now from the title of this video I'm guessing you were expecting cars, cars and more cars. But Marine vs Cup is a great racing game in its own genre of racing boats. Not only are there several types of boat, race courses and locations to test your seafaring skills, this game is also a fairly accurate boating simulation, meaning you'll have to actually learn to steer and control a boat just like you would in reality. It's also worth noting that the developers regularly have competitions with real cash prizes, so if you've always fancied yourself a bit of a sailor, love a challenge or just want to learn how to race boats, Marineverse certainly won't disappoint. Back to cars then, with number 8, Death Lap. In the style of the movie Death Race, this game is all about racing with one hand and shooting with the other, with several vehicles, weapons and special abilities to help take out your opponents. Don't focus on shooting too hard though, as there are traps and pitfalls to avoid or use to your advantage. I've had a decent amount of fun in Death Lap when I can find some friends to jump on with, but you'll be lucky to find randoms to play against and unfortunately there are only a handful of maps to play on. So if you like the aesthetic, you've got some mates to play against or you're happy destroying the AI in single player, this isn't a bad game to pick up in the sales. Coming in for another free ride at number 7 is V Speedway. Don't let this one fool you with the low end graphics, V Speedway has a lot to offer any racing enthusiast. There are loads of colours for your car and several tracks to race through the city's landscape. Most importantly though, V Speedway is one of the few racing sims for the Quest 2 to offer users the ability to change gears manually using a gear stick as well as giving you the option of turning via stick or gripping the steering wheel. But if you're not quite confident enough to drive stick yet, there are also options to drive automatic and to change driver's position if you're like me and from a country like the UK. But something I rarely see is having working rear view and side view mirrors, and V Speedway has all of this and more. All in all, V Speedway really did an amazing job. Unfortunately, it doesn't have multiplayer, but it does offer leaderboards to challenge those competitive players amongst you. And I'll say it again, this one is completely free. Prefer bikes to cars? Then you'll probably be into our number 6 slot, Void Racer Extreme. Void Racer Extreme is the big brother of the original Void Racer on the Oculus Go, but now we have full 6 off movement and high definition graphics. VRE feels very much like Tron Light Cycles had a baby with F-Zero X, and what we get is high speed racing on futuristic tracks with weapons and power ups. For bike enthusiasts, you'll also be glad to hear that it even has realistic bike leaning which does feel pretty awesome, though if this is uncomfortable for you there are comfort options to turn it off. With 12 tracks and a ton of racing challenges to complete, there is certainly no shortage of fun to be had here. And unlike a lot of the previously mentioned games, Void Racer Extreme does have 4 player multiplayer, so you're not simply playing against AI all the time. One very interesting mechanic that kept me playing tracks over and over is the energy system. Gain enough of it and you can use shortcuts across the void space to eke out an advantage on your opponents. My only big gripe is the challenges don't really yield anything apart from completion or bragging rights. They could have added a ton of skins here and people would likely play a lot more just to make their bike look that much cooler. No racing rundown would be complete without our number 5 slot, Wreck Rally. If you're already familiar with Rec Room then you'll likely have already tried Wreck Rally. Rec Rally has everything most people will want in a VR racing game, 
like steering wheel turning, nitro boosting, and the ability to drift around corners. But what it does best is what every Rec Room game does, it's a social experience. You can even have friends ride along with you shotgun or riding in the back of the buggy. For those that haven't played Rec Room, it's completely free and so are all of the games within it, so this one is worth checking out. Don't be put off by the child friendly graphics, it has a lot to offer and you may even find yourself trying some of the other games and earning yourself some loot. We are moving more towards Mario Kart-esque games with the number 4 slot, Touring Karts. I need to say this before anything else. Touring Karts is a great game. It's smooth, fun, and has everything you could want in a game reminiscent of the retro karting games we used to play on the N64, and certainly deserves a place on this list. But if this looks good to you, wait for the number 2 slot, as this might just be a slightly better option. Touring Karts offers cartoon style graphics, weapons, boosts, and power-ups, over 22 unique tracks styled after real world courses. What makes Touring Cars unique is that as you play you can collect recipes to combine different weapons for some pretty awesome and sometimes completely wacky results. Something else you don't see in other racing games is an arcade style racing view, giving you the feeling of playing in an old arcade racing box. This was perfect for those times VR sickness gets the better of you. Overall, this is a solid game with plenty of replayability, online multiplayer and a reasonable amount of customizable cars to choose from. If you're wanting the fastest game out there on Quest 2, then our number 3 slot will certainly satisfy those adrenaline junkies amongst you. This is Omega Pilot. Omega Pilot answers the question, what would Wipeout be like in VR? The answer? Awesome. Race against AI and asynchronous opponents in extremely high speed ships around tons of unique maps without the worry of that pesky gravity thing. Be careful though, inertia can be just as tricky. Being one of the newest racing games to hit the Quest 2 system means it is still being updated constantly for bugs, visuals and mechanics. But that's not to say that it isn't already a polished game worthy of your attention. As I mentioned earlier, it has a synchronous multiplayer, meaning that true multiplayer isn't here yet. But you are essentially playing against other real world players ghosts to compete to see who is the best of the best. Though the devs have said that multiplayer is coming in the future. So if you're into speed, skins and futuristic sci-fi-esque visuals, this is probably a winner for you. Again with another Mario Kart clone is the number 2 slot, Dash Dash World. If you're looking for something less serious and more casual friendly, then you could certainly do a lot worse than Dash Dash World. Similar to those games we all grew up with and loved, DDW has us racing carts on 13 different courses online with up to 8 friends or in offline story mode. The virtual steering system works really well and the different types of control systems allow for more immersion or easier gameplay, depending on how much effort you want to put into learning something new or simply having fun. And of course, it wouldn't be a fun karting game without weapons, power-ups, drifting and boosts. With crossplay enabled, there is still a decent community of players and regular online tournaments. If you like the bright colours, customization, and nostalgic feeling of yesteryear, this is a great racing purchase and just about beats touring carts with its customization options and slightly newer VR style. And of course, there has to be a winner, and for our number one slot, it has to be Mini Motor X. Why? because it just has so much of everything in the racing genre, that's why. Mini Motor X has a ridiculous amount of cars to choose from and unlocks including classic sci-fi cars such as the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Tons of game modes including a Rocket League style football match, loads of tracks to race on and destructible environments. You can play arcade style multiplayer offline career mode to earn money and upgrades and even co-op campaign mode so you can enjoy playing through with a friend. And that's not to mention tournaments. Possibly one of my favourite things about this game though is the view options. For the sim enthusiasts you have first person, for the arcade enthusiasts or those needing more comfort you have third person view and best of all for some social fun you also have a super zoomed out micro machines kind of RC car view which I guess in itself is a kind of simulation view. All of this wrapped up with great aesthetics and weapon choices. This was easily the best of the bunch currently available purely on the Quest 2 system. If sim racing is your thing, you can only go so far with the Quest 2, and really you need to start looking at PC VR level graphics and processing. But that's not to say the Quest 2 can't give you some great experiences. 
What do you guys think? Are my choices correct? Or are there games you think I've missed? As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And remember, stay awesome, enjoy your questing, and I'll catch you for the next one.